Hi, Mick Crumley with Van Air Manufacturing. We're here to talk about the Van Air Underdeck PTO Shaft Driven Air Compressor System. Uh, Van Air introduced this back in 1972. We started the mobile power industry with the air compressors on trucks uh, using the PTO drive shaft to drive the compressor. Um, since then, we've added on the generators. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Dodge Ram chassis that we have here. Uh, we started out when they came out with the 45 5500 chassis with a 4x2. Uh, now we're into the four-wheel drive versions of the compressor systems under deck. On this new 2017 Dodge Ram 4x4 chassis, we have the ISN automatic transmission underneath here. In 2017, they gave us the capabilities of a PTO port on the driver's side, the left-hand side of the transmission, which allows us to run a drive shaft system back here to the air compressor. Uh, before being on the passenger side with the exhaust on the same side, it was inaccessible. We couldn't get to it with a drive shaft. Uh, this one's a new 2017, has a compressor generator system on it. We have a direct drive system on the back of the transmission, which allows us a PTO gearbox to run power back through the transfer case, back through a drive shaft, back to our rotary screw air compressor. This system is capable of 185 CFM at 150 PSI as a standard. Uh, it is capable of 200 PSI. The compressor is a rotary screw oil flooded air compressor. The oil helps seal the compressor to get the air pressure out of the system and discharge the temperature, the heat out of the system. The compressor will discharge air and oil out through a hose and put it into the discharge separator tank where it will separate dry air from the oil. The oil then would go back through the system through a cooler and reintroduce it back into the compressor. The discharge tank will have service valves and a minimum pressure valve on the end of the tank to allow you to use air out a service line on the truck. The tank will also have a fill and sight glass assembly for an oil level for a quick easy check. Once the power comes into the air compressor, it goes out the back through the generator here. We could do 6.6 .6 kilowatt and 9.6 kilowatt of power, both 120 and 240 volt AC. The system is driven by a direct drive PTO gearbox on the transmission operated from the driver's cab. It is hooked into our VTEC speed control system which monitors all the generator output, air pressure output, RPMs and it controls the engine RPM as more power is needed to speed it up, produce more air. Our system monitors that, takes care of it. It also monitors any safeties. If it were to overpressure or over temperature, it'll shut the system off to protect itself. This system is also set up with a dual pressure system. The switch here will switch it from low pressure 100 PSI to high pressure 150 PSI with a flip of a switch. This will allow you to run your hair tools at 100 PSI. Most paving breakers will run at 100 PSI. And then for, uh, say, pressure pipe testing, you would have the high 150 PSI at the flip of a switch. The uh, underdeck compressor system is mounted underneath the truck body here. You can see this has uh, quite a bit of ground clearance. It does not uh, impede anything underneath the truck as far as ground clearance. The compressor system, mounted under the truck. It's, the compressor is always with you. You don't have to send somebody back to the job site to pick up a compressor if somebody forgot to bring it. The system mounted under the truck means when you get to the job site it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about the engine on the compressor starting on a tow behind. This also frees up the bed space in the truck. It frees up the hitch to pull other equipment, be it a trencher or backhoe. But the system will always be with you. It, if it gets left on a job site, they're not going to steal the compressor. It will always be mounted to the truck here. This system would be basically used for work on the side of the road, parking lots, running a paving breaker, jackhammers, uh, any type of hand tools that you'd have, small welding devices, plastic pipe fusion welders, work lights if it's dark out, any type of uh, electrical AC systems that use 120 or 240 power. Here we're going to talk about the Gen Air system. This is our breaker panel for the generator system. It's available in 6.6 .6 kilowatt, 9.6 kilowatt versions. We can do 120, 240 volt. This panel can be remote mounted anywhere on the truck in a body compartment that's uh, easy to get to for the operator. 
panel itself has breakers in here to protect the system. There's a breaker for every outlet on here. Everything is GFI protected. Uh, we have extra slots if somebody were to go in here and add some breakers and put receptacles throughout the body if they would like to at uh, an installation time. We have an on off switch to turn the power for the generator on and off. When power is on, a green light will power up to show you that there's AC power available. This is the oil cooling system to keep the compressor cool and running. And the system when it's operating, it draws in air and oil, compresses the air, goes through the discharge tank. The hot oil comes out of the tank into our cooler where the fan cools the oil and returns it back to the system. Uh, this cooler assembly needs to be mounted top side of the body somewhere. We have multiple mo mounting locations for this and different sizes, variable si various sizes for the higher CFMs or high ambient temperatures. Van Air has a variety of air to oil cooler configurations depending on your application and truck. Larger coolers will be required for higher pressures and volumes. These range from 60 to 200 CFM and 100 to 200 PSI for either intermittent or continuous duty cycle applications. Here's the Van Air rotary screw underdeck system. We have various configurations we can do on this underdeck PTO shaft driven system. Off the front of the compressor we can put a gearbox assembly which we can add a B style pump to the front of the gearbox. Hydraulics would be available on the front of the system then to operate a crane or a hydraulic tool circuit. Typically a system like this if you had a hydraulic pump, air and a generator on here we'd call it a V3 system. If you were to have just the hydraulics and the air compressor, we would call that a V2 system to have two systems operating at the same time. This system mounted underneath the truck with a PTO shaft driven from the engine makes this a tier four system as soon as we install it onto the truck. Uh, we don't have to buy a, a separate system with a separate tier four engine on it. We're not taking up bed space of the truck anywhere. The hitch on the back of the truck is free to pull something, a tow behind trailer with a backhoe or trenchers. This system is going to save you lots of money just for the simple fact you're not buying a tier 4 engine to drive it. It's lightweight. You don't have the weight of another diesel engine on the system. And it's compact. I hope this walk around on the Dodge 5500 4x4 chassis has been helpful. Um, the underdeck gen air system, if you have any questions on this, just give us a call at Van Air 1-800-526-8817 or visit us on our website www.vanair.com